Okay, so this is going to be interesting. I've got a scenario set up in DCS. I've got an F-18 at Tonopar test range in the um, Nellis test range. And I'm going to um, meet a bandit that's flying in from the north. It's an F-5, so it's a typical aggressor type plane. He has got missiles. I've got missiles as well. I've only got sidewinders, so has he. So we're going to meet somewhere about 10 miles north of the base and see what happens. So here we go. So full throttle. Arm the weapons even before we leave the runway. We can't go. Air to air won't work until we're in the air. We will immediately go and switch the radar on. And we'll increase the range on it. And we're airborne, gear up down, turn the flaps to auto, we can already see him on the radar and we're going to go to sidewinders, we're going to move the pipper across on the radar and lock him up and there we can see where he is in the sky now, so at the moment he's still quite a long way away. 31 miles out. So we're going to charge in. I'm going to come off the full reheat. There's no need to go in that fast. We have two sidewinders. We have armed weapons. So we're just going to go in and see what happens. 18 miles away now. We're coming in at just under Mach 1. Fifteen miles away. Thirteen miles away. I could shoot if I really wanted to. I want to have a gunfight with him really because it's more fun. <laughs> so let's go to the outside view. He's down three miles away so we can see now where he's coming from. Huge disadvantage in the plane again. That's all we need. He's already checking flare mate, he knows he's in trouble. I'm taking a bit of a risk after pulling around this corner so so hard. So we're getting into a lag pursuit behind him. And then we'll just kill him and rape. So we'll go to guns. Because we're not interested in using missiles because that's too easy. So we're still doing 260 knots. I'm going to slow down a little bit. Bang. How did that not hit him? That did. Oh, we just went through his jet stream. Did you notice our plane kicked sideways then? That's the end of him. let my plane stall out. Don't need to maintain that speed now because he's dead. I guess we 
and follow him down. In there. Kaboom! <laughs> okay, let's fly home. So we need to be going the opposite direction. Should be able to see the runway from up here, to be honest. There's the base. So I'm going to go down left hand side of the runway, so uh, right hand side of the runway, sorry, and fly the pattern. So we can probably talk to ATC, say we're coming home. One, 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 inbound. We're doing Mach 1.2 at the moment, I probably need to come off the engines. slowly make our way back. So we'll keep an eye out on the side. You can see the base down there. We can actually zoom right in if we want to. Nothing going on there today. And come back. So we can see the aeroplane. Okay. Put the gear down. Where are we in relation to the end of the runway? Oh, we'll go a little bit further. Okay, let's do this. Overshot slightly, oh well.
and we're down. Wheel brakes. And we're going to park up in one of the hangars. So yeah, fairly straightforward mission really, took off, intercepted, C could have taken him out with a missile from 20 miles out to be honest. Um, I went to gu a gunfight and obviously uh, an F5 can't compete with a Hornet at all. So we're just going to wait until we get to the end of here. back of these hangers. Just pull in to the first one. Job done. That's a successful mission, I guess. So there we go. 